Homeless people who pitch tents in public spaces could now face arrest in Lakewood under a newly passed camping ban. The ordinance took effect on Friday and police have already begun outreach in various encampments around the city. Come with Joel Moreno live this evening with how it works and what the community is saying. Joel? Well, Preston, the people we spoke with to uh, here in Lakewood, they say this is very much needed. Now, the new camping ban, it allows police to issue a 24-hour notice to clear out, and those who refuse can be taken into custody. The clock is ticking for Jacob Dernal, who has been sleeping on the backside of Lakewood City Hall. However, police gave him 24 hours to pack up. What did they tell you? Not much. Just to uh, get out of here by a certain day. Officers also spoke with Ralph Creator, who's also homeless. Yeah, they told me I had to leave, but uh, I, I was waiting for my my trailer and my and my box van to ha and my belongings, which are in there, so that I could leave. The new law bans both pitching a tent as well as sleeping on public property, and people can be cited for trespassing and arrested if they ignore the 24-hour notice. I think that's a great idea. I don't think nobody should be standing nowhere more than 48 hours. 24 hours is even better. Well, sometimes I feel like it's a safety issue. Police say they want to lead with education and will be passing out a flyer that lists local shelter and mental health options. They say they want to connect people to help while still keeping public spaces like parks and sidewalks safe and available for everyone. I think public spaces are good for um, everybody and more tools to help people, I think the better off people will be. Bus passes may also be provided since many of the resources for homeless people are in Tacoma. I'm trying to say no homeless in, in Lakewood. People who live in Lakewood say homelessness is a growing issue and they support a different approach to deal with the crisis as well as more options when the help offered is turned down. Then if people don't want help, it's hard to give help when somebody doesn't want help. If you let it get away, it will get bad and that's what's happening. I want to clarify that Lakewood did already have a camping ban, but it only applied to the overnight hours. This one, this new ban, it's in effect 24-7. And it uh, also gives officers, they say, another option when the help that they offer is refused and the person just wants to keep camping anyway. Reporting live, Joel Marino, Como News.